So throughout the DCS5 software, there are various buttons and help points that we can use to help us with the photography or enhancement of finger mark images. So the main photography resource that we have within the software is the DCS wizard. Now the wizard can be accessed from this top left hand control and that will open up the DCS capture wizard window. This is such a huge and useful resource for examiners. So all of our photography techniques are split into dry items, wet items or contaminants. So from here, we're just selecting what our piece of evidence is. So whether we're looking at a dry item, an item that has been previously wetted or a contaminant or visual mark. So potentially a pre-treatment mark or a mark that is in a contaminant on a surface. So maybe something like blood or grease. So once we have come through to that stage, the next thing we have is the surface, or in this case, we have the, the type of contaminant that's on the surface. So it may be a grease um, finger mark. Now this could be treated with something. We may use a treatment like either Sudan Black or Gentian Violet, but if a treatment hasn't been used yet, and the mark still needs to be visualised, it would be classed as a visual mark. So a visible finger mark that needs to be photographed. What will finally open up once you've made your selection, so whether that is a finger mark treatment on a specific substrate type, or whether that is, like in this case, a visible mark that we're trying to photograph, if you're really unsure, what the wizard gives you is options for the photography of these surfaces. So in this case, we can see that we have a couple of different options. So one of them being surface light, so illumination from above, um, and potentially the use of a polarizing filter. Just to the right of that, we have specular illumination. So this gives us a rough diagram and a guideline of how we might set that up as well as a description of how we could set that up ready for photography. Once we have read this um, outline, what we can do is press capture to come straight through to the capture screen and begin the capturing process. So actually, what we could do is whilst the wizard is open, set up all of the lighting and then just press capture to come through to the, the capture screen.